Hi, and welcome to Game Gear TV. I'm Doug. This video is going to be the first in a series of reviews for the currently available Direct Connect wireless headsets for Xbox One. These headsets being the Turtle Beach Stealth 600, the Turtle Beach Stealth 700, the Razer Thresher, and the new Lucid Sound LS35X. All of these headsets were originally announced to be released late last year. The two Turtle Beaches came out in September, the Thresher in October, and the Lucid Sound was supposed to be in December. However, the Lucid Sound had a series of delays and was not released until this October. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the Direct Connect concept, all of these headsets connect directly to the Xbox One console like a controller would through Microsoft's own wireless protocol without the need for a USB dongle or base station. For this series, I'll be doing a separate review of each headset, and then I'll have a culminating video that has a comparison of all four and which one I think is best. To start off, I'll be doing a review of the most affordable option out of this group, the Turtle Beach Stealth 600, which currently retails for about $85. Now, when the Stealth 600 and 700 were first released, they were plagued by connectivity issues and were constantly disconnected from the consoles. People also reported hearing high-pitched or buzzing sounds in the left ear cup, and the series was getting a really bad name. Fortunately, Turtle Beach addressed these issues through firmware updates. With all that said, let's jump into the review. There isn't much to say about the Stealth 600's packaging. Inside the fairly plain box, we find the headset, charging cable, and a documentation package, and that's it. The Stealth 600 feels cheaply made. The plastic feels weak and has some creaking with movement. Aesthetically, it looks pretty gamery and is mostly matte black with highlights of green on the Xbox version and blue for the PS4. The padding is not overly thick and is covered with a cloth material which breathes well enough but isn't the softest out there. The size has a decent amount of adjustment and should work for most people. The ear cups also rotate 90 degrees so the headset can be laid flat on a table or more comfortably around the neck. All of the controls are on the headset and are fairly easy to use. There are separate game and chat volume dials, a power button, which also serves to activate the superhuman hearing mode by a quick press, an EQ button, which changes between the four presets of signature sound, bass boost, bass and treble boost, and vocal boost. The microphone is non-detachable and is on a flip to mute boom arm. The headset charges through a micro USB port on the bottom of the left ear cup, which is where you'll also find the pairing button. As far as comfort goes, they're not the most comfortable headset out there, but I can wear them for several hours without too much difficulty. But I do start to notice some discomfort on the top of my head and around where the bottom of the ear cups are. The angle of the ear cups on the frame is fairly steep, and the headband when worn properly rests more forward on my head than I'm used to. The Stealth 600 does fairly well in the sound department. They're surprisingly balanced for a more budget-friendly headset, and they have a nice, consistent, and punchy bass that doesn't overpower the mids or highs. There is decent separation of the frequencies, and when combined with Windows Sonic or Dolby Atmos, they do really well on positional audio cues as well. When using the spatial surround options, I am often able to get a sense of when a sound is coming from above or below me, which is really impressive. I've put a lot of time and shooters with this headset from Call of Duty, Battlefield 1, and Destiny, and I do get a pretty good sense of where footsteps are coming from and distant gunfire, and it's always really satisfying to hear someone coming up from behind you and being able to turn around and get that kill. They also include Turtle Beach's superhuman hearing mode, which I don't really care for. It really unbalances the sound in the name of hopefully helping you pick out, you know, footsteps and gunfire and reloads and things like that and shooters, but I've been able to pick up on those positional audio cues just fine without using it but it's there for you if you'd like it. I've also used them to listen to music on the YouTube app, and I've watched quite a few shows with them on Netflix, and they do sound pretty well across the board. The audio presets are pretty good, and add a nice layer of customization that's not usually found in this price range. The biggest downside for this headset in the audio department is just the overall volume. It doesn't get as loud as I'd like. All right, let's do a microphone test. The microphone is decent, but it's not great either. It transmits clearly, but lacks fullness and depth. It also does not filter out ambient noise very well. It picks up just about everything around you, from your breathing, setting down a cup, the washing machine in the background, or other people talking in the room. This could be rather irritating for those you're playing with in party chat. The plus side is the flip to mute design is easy and works well. The direct connect wireless to the console works really well, and the pairing is as simple as connecting controller. And I haven't had any issues with disconnects. The range is pretty respectable as well. I don't have any problems going to the other side of my house without disconnecting. For software support, the Stealth 600 uses Turtle Beach's desktop audio hub app. There's not a lot of options for them, and all you're able to do is update the firmware, adjust your mic monitoring level, and the tone volume. The Stealth 600 can also be used on a Windows 10 PC if you use the $25 Xbox wireless adapter, 
which is what I used to capture the microphone test of this video. I'd like to take a second to talk about durability. If you've seen my Turtle Beach Elite Pro 2 review, then you may know that I've owned a pair of Stealth 6 engines in the past. Generally speaking, I treat my headsets pretty well. I don't throw them on the ground or in a box with a bunch of other stuff. Pretty much they go on my head and when I'm done with them, they go back onto a stand or flat on a table. Now after about eight months of use, my Stealth 600s broke right here at the joint where the ear cups meet the rest of the frame. All I was doing was picking them up to put on my head and as I stretched them out like so to put them on, the plastic just gave way. So I can definitively say that the plastic on the Stealth 600s is cheap and brittle and isn't really made to last. Turtle Beach has addressed this issue to an extent with their new Atlas 3 for PC. The Atlas 3 pretty much looks just like the Stealth 600, but Turtle Beach advertises that it has metal reinforcement throughout the construction. It'd be nice if Turtle Beach would release a updated version of the Stealth 600 that had that feature. Should you get the Stealth 600? If you're on a bit of a budget and want wireless freedom, they are pretty good. They have good sound with good positional distinction. The different presets are nice to have and add a layer of customizability that you don't usually get in this price range. The microphone on the Stealth 600 isn't anything to brag about, and they're not that well made and not the most comfortable out there either. I personally really do like using the wireless through the direct connection without the need for a USB dongle, and in this price range, I do think they're a really solid choice. If you do pick them up, I would recommend spending a little bit extra and getting the replacement plan because there is a very good chance that they will physically break on you after some use. What's your favorite under $100 headset? Have you used the Stealth 600? What are your thoughts on it? Be sure to come back over the next few weeks and check out my reviews on the other Xbox Direct Connect wireless headsets. Leave a comment with what you'd like to see next on the channel. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.